Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of In The Kitchen Cooking. I know it's been a minute since my last video, I think almost two years. Um, you blink and time goes by, life gets in the way, but really, as always, appreciate everybody asking me when my next cooking video is coming. Uh, if you've watched my last videos, you'll notice a couple changes. Uh, the first is I no longer have long hair. Uh, it was getting way too annoying and in my face. Every time I woke up in the morning, it felt like I was being attacked by cousin it. So how to get that cut. Uh, but the big change is you'll notice I'm in a different kitchen. Uh, not only am I in a different kitchen and a different apartment, I am in a different state. I have moved away from California and I now live in Nevada. So super excited to be here. Uh, people often ask me, Michael, why did you leave California? And I would say the primary reason was traffic. In California, there is traffic all the time. There's no such thing as rush hour. It's 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day traffic and then even after hours or early hours traffic and here in Las Vegas there's rarely any traffic unless you're going toward the strip uh, but even during rush hour if you're going around town barely ever any traffic and with that the biggest shock living here so far has been how aggressive the drivers are and I think that's because there's no traffic so they expect you to go fast and at first I thought it's because I have California license plates uh, but once I got my license plates changed I'm still getting tailgated all the time and I'm going pretty fast 75 80 uh, but they don't like that it's not fast enough uh, but when people are outside of their cars people here are super nice around my complex uh, the local areas around Vegas everyone is super nice and I'm loving it really glad I made the move really loving it but definitely want to get back into uh, in the kitchen cooking so to get back in the groove today we're gonna make some hard-boiled eggs I know that sounds super easy super basic maybe kind of boring um, but it would help me get into the groove of making videos again getting into editing again um, getting some camera angles for uh, the apartment um, but um, hard-boiled eggs there's a perfect way to do it and I think I have mastered it. So I'd like to share that mastery with you. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at our ingredients. <laughs> eggs and salt. Eggs, obviously, uh, but we're gonna put salt in the water to help a little bit uh, with the cooking process. Uh, but that's all you need for the master method of hard boiling eggs. I like to use the large eggs. I don't know the timing for extra large or medium. I, I found that sweet spot with large eggs. I also get the pack of 12, uh, mainly because I'm still single and um, I don't eat them fast enough before they go bad. Uh, but if you can eat them fast enough, the method will work for as many eggs as you want to cook. The key is that when we're putting them in the pot, we're not allowing them to be on top of each other or like crammed in. Uh, like a spa or a jacuzzi, you want to move around freely, if you know what I mean. So you don't want to be, you know, bunched up with other people in the jacuzzi. <laughs> this is a horrible analogy, but that's also how the, uh, the eggs want to feel. They don't want to be touching anybody in the jacuzzi. If you're planning to hard boil a whole carton of eggs, I would recommend using a big pot like this. Um, I don't know the correct term, big pot. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is put the eggs in before the water. Now that we have the eggs in, uh, we're gonna start filling the pot with water. You don't have to fill it up to the max. You just need it to be slightly above the eggs. So as the water evaporates and it boils, it's not gonna run out of water. I may already be deviating with the way you hard boil your eggs, but that's not the master method. On my channel, we do the master method, and that's to put the eggs in the water first and then boil the water. So let's go ahead and turn it on high. Our water is starting to boil. As you can see, little bubbles are coming out of the eggs. If you see a lot of bubbles coming out of the eggs, that means there's a potential crack. Uh, but for the most part, I don't see any. Nope, that's a lie. I see one, but anyways, uh, one key part of the master method for hard boiling eggs is you're gonna need a bowl made this size and we're gonna fill it with ice and then water and we want that water to be super cold. 
So before your water gets to a rolling boil, you want to start filling this bucket or bucket this bowl up with ice water. Now keep an eye on the boiling because as soon as it starts boiling, we're going to set a timer for 12 minutes. So unfortunately, one of my eggs has hemorrhaged and it is floating to the top. There you can see the hemorrhaged eggs and it's getting yolk everywhere. Unfortunately, the steam is too heavy, but hey, 10 out of 12 or 11 out of 12, it looks like it's only one out of the bunch. That's not too bad. Still got breakfast for 11 days. Um, but we still got 8.35 left on the timer. We got our ice water over here. So as soon as these eggs are done boiling, uh, we're gonna quickly transfer them to the ice water. And that's gonna stop the cooking and make the shells super easy to peel. That's one of the other key parts of the master method is that uh, it's very easy to peel, but it all comes down to this ice. The timer just went off and I cut the heat. Uh, it is only one hemorrhaged egg, so the master method was not perfect, but I still think it's masterful. We're gonna fish these out and we're gonna put them in the ice water. I like to use this tool. As you can see, it's got some forky spoonish things, so it makes it easy, they don't roll out. Um, and we're gonna put it in the ice water and then we're gonna set another 30 minute timer. Now, some people think the egg should sit in the water, uh, but if you could see this water, it looks super gross because that one egg hemorrhaged. Um, so we're gonna get them out of there, but part of my master method, put it right in the ice water. You don't need to put a lid on it and let it simmer or sit in the warm water, take them right out. Here is our fallen homie. As you can see, his head blew off. His mind was blown. Uh, I'm curious if I were to open this, if the egg still cooked properly, but you can see that is scrambled. And even though I'm wearing this rubber glove, it is hotter than a mofo. I made it to the finish line. I have fished out the eggs from the ice water, all except for the, the fallen homie. And so we'll pour out a glass of orange juice in his honor later. Uh, but yeah, let's crack one of these open to show you why we iced bathed them uh, to stop that cooking process. And it makes it so easy to peel. Now, if this ends up backfiring, this whole video is ruined. <laughs> so it's one thing to have a hemorrhaged egg, but if I can't peel this easily, it's gonna be very embarrassing. So <laughs> let's try. So I've taken an egg and I have my bowl here. So here we go. Oh yeah, just like I knew. This is coming off so easily. And, and this isn't just because I just cooked them. I promise you, if you use my method, that the shells will seamlessly come off this easy for days to come. Look at that, already unpeeled. Look at that, perfect. I knew the master method would not fail me. Shout out to the fallen homie egg, but look at that, that is perfect. You douse this with some Tabasco or some other hot sauce or some salt and pepper, and you've got a primo hard boiled egg. Well, I am so proud of this. It was worth losing one egg. I'm telling you, the ice makes all the difference. Have that ice ready and fire it away. So um, I'm gonna bite into this just to show you how good the yolk came out, but forgive my muffled talks. Mm-hmm. All right, so I just finished eating the egg. It was very good. The yolk texture was perfect and that yellow just popped. So that's how you know you hit it right in that sweet spot. Uh, really appreciate everybody coming by. Um, I do want to get back into these videos on a monthly basis at the least. My Aunt Karen and my mom and my sister got me some really great tools uh, for the kitchen and I definitely want to put those to use and to honor them for the gifts they got me. So um, definitely am going to get into a better cadence.
Um, and I'm gonna start with this cooking book. Uh, my friend Blake got it for me. Uh, it's going solo in the kitchen. And all these recipes here, not trying to be funny, are recipes for people like myself who wanna cook, but don't wanna buy a ton of ingredients that are gonna go bad, and they only use a portion of them in the recipe. Um, so really looking forward to diving into this. There's no pictures, so we don't know what it'll end up looking like and tasting like or smelling like. Um, so it should be good to get a good cadence of the videos. They're probably really short and easy, so I don't have to film all day or edit for long periods of time. So hopefully that'll help me get into that cadence, but really looking forward to making more videos. And again, thank you so much for continuing to tune in. Give me those thumbs up and those likes and those subscriptions. And for the one person who unsubscribed, you're dead to me. But uh, for everybody else, uh, if you have any questions about what it's like to live in Vegas or what it was like to uh, move out of California and make that exodus, happy to open this channel to a Q&A as well. But again, thank you everybody and we'll see you next time on In the Kitchen Cooking.